and welcome, welcome to Jermaine on Natural. I am Jermaine Ryan. And before I kind of jump fully into 2022 <laughs> and, uh, you know, start throwing a whole bunch of new products at y'all, I am going to do my first ever favorites from the previous year. So these are my favorite things that I use from throughout 2021. So now these are all things that I would definitely recommend. These are also things that when, cause you know, when I do my reviews, I talk about what everything says, what it did, and if there's anything that I need from it. These are all products that I didn't need anything from them. Like nothing, nothing, like nothing, nothing. No so to start, the pre-poo of pre-poos that everybody's talking about it is the African Pride Miracle Moisture, the Aloe Coconut Pre-Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. And I'm going to say this now, all pop-up videos that happen above will be linked down below for you to watch after this one. There are probably going to be more videos linked down below because the pop-ups, you only get five and I've got a lot of stuff to link. All right, so <sighs> COVID. <laughs> <Beep>. <laughs> 2020, not 2021. Oh, geez, Louise, what are the years, days, shapes, and numbers? My original case of COVID 2020. And those, those mini twists that I had in for all that time, this got me through. This is the reason why I don't have locks. <laughs> It does everything that it needs to do and it's formulated well. My number one favorite clarifying shampoo for 2021 is of course the Adjua Beauty. It is their Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo. Beep. It's just great. It does not overstrip your hair. Your scalp definitely feels clean and it does leave you some moisture and it starts to define your hair and you can start to like detangle with it a little bit. It does everything that I needed to do. Plus you all know that this is an Adro Beauty. You know, I stand, I always stand. Y'all know I don't like making decisions, right? Uh, Cardi B and I relate when it comes to I want to choose. So favorite moisturizing shampoo. It is the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger, the Sienna Naturals Happy, and the Ayers Batch of Nature, their fenugreek and Brinry Rice Water and Goat Milk Hair Shampoo. These were my three favorite moisturizing shampoos. They all did everything that they needed to do. They all had great lather. They all left my hair feeling clean. They were all nice, gentle, general shampoos. All great. Next are other items that I don't use too often. Um, which are, which is going to be my rinse out conditioner. So the only one that I do still have a little bit left of is the Sienna Naturals Untangled. This is a good ass rinse out conditioner. Number one, it's very conditioning. <laughs> it's very softening. The thing about this though is that you can detangle with it so easily. Uh, that was... So good. Now the other rinse out conditioner I don't have anymore because you know I use my stash, and that was the Lush Power. Beep beep. <laughs> Same thing with that one. It it is formulated very very well. You know Lush. You know we know. If you know Lush, then you know Lush in the formulations. Again, the detangling is such a breeze. The other biggest factor to me with that one was the scent and that smell of. The, the maple, the maple syrup smell, oh, I mean, it just <laughs> radiates warmth, sugary warmthness. It's just, I love that rinse out conditioner. All right, so moving on to deep conditioners. So you know you have to break deep conditioners up into different types, right? Yes. Okay, good. So for my favorite moisturizing deep conditioner of 2021, I'm going to go with the Curl Smith, the Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. Again, the smell so good. Hold on, let's 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 play with the smell again. Ugh. I love the smell of that. Again, I was able to very easily um detangle with it. It left my hair very, very moisturized. It clumped my hair so very well when I applied it and when I rinsed it out. Like it really, really set me up for a good wash day. And then of course the ingredients are phenomenal. 
Curlsmith. For protein, coming in again from Adra Beauty is their Blue, Ter their Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. So again, another great, it's a great protein deep conditioner. Uh, when I got my silk press, this is what I use before when I wash my hair. And then afterwards, I use this, you know, because you want to put the proteins back into your hair after you silk press your hair. Beep! So good. Gave me that good protein bump. It didn't make it didn't make my hair feel hard or brittle. And it did give me a bit of moisture also. And I was able to detangle with this. So now that we've talked about a moisturizing deep conditioner and a protein deep conditioner, there's nothing like a good middleman, a good balanced. And for me, that was none other than Oyen Handmade What The Hemp. This is a great balanced deep conditioner because it does have quinoa and hydrolyzed oat, but it's still formulated to give you this amazing amount of moisture. Oh, and it smells so good. And you can detangle with it. This is a good balancing deep conditioner, in my opinion. Favorite, love it. Now again, I don't like to choose. <laughs> Moving on to my favorite leave-in conditioners, another item from Sienna Naturals, it is the Do Magic. Creamy, goes on light, absorbs fast, super moisturizing. I love uh, uh, this uh, uh, leave-in, and it does everything that it says that it's gonna do. Needed nothing from it, highly recommend it. Another one of my favorite leave-in conditioners for 2021 is the Oyen Handmade Hairdo. Again, another very creamy, uh, light, um, but super moisturizing leave-in. They call it a leave-in lotion, and that is kind of how it goes on too. It's just, it's just, Really good, really nourishing, formulated well, moisturizing. Again, super, super good. Um, and OEM was like one of the first brands that I started using when I was growing up my hair, so I'm very, very familiar with this. But just revisited again for 2021. It hasn't lost anything. It still packs a punch. I didn't do a whole lot of curling cream just because I am a gel guy. I like a hard hulk. <laughs> Give me the crunch. So I didn't do a whole lot of cream curl creams, but the one that I did try that I do like is from Lush and it is their Curl Power. Something to the left if you're having a good time. And then shake it to the right if you know what you feel for. And shake it to the front. Ha, ha, and go. Can we give you a nice melodic R&B version? <laughs> so good. The smell is just, smells so good. And it left my hair so shiny. It is definitely a medium hold, but it's it was really, really good. It was a solid medium hold too. And it just it left my hair shiny and it left my hair smelling so, so good. Highly recommend. So now that brings us to gels. Gel. I kind of went back and forth with this one. And even though I could have went with a couple different ones. There was one gel that I used 2021 that just took the cake. It just the bees knees, the cats meow. Oh, I should have had Momo come in for that part since he always wanted to meow any other time I'm doing a video. It gave me everything that I needed from the gel. It was a long anticipated. So for me, builds anticipation, builds anticipation. It was the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I love this gel. I will always keep this in my house. This gel does everything for me. Smooths the hair. Beep. If you watch that video, like when I raked it through, like you know how when people go through and they're showing you like, you know, the, the, the texture shot when they've applied it and you can still like see a couple of strings or two of hair. It's kind of still kind of, you know, they're not fully, fully clumped. This clumped them. All of it. If you haven't tried it, you should. If you don't like it, then <laughs> you have the right not to. It doesn't mean that there isn't anything wrong with you, but you do have the right to not like it. No, I'm just playing, or am I? I love this. It gives me all the definition. It gives me the hold that I need. It gives me moisture, and it gives me all of the movement. <sighs> this was my gel for 2021. I, mm, I'm in love with this gel.
That's all I'm saying. And to wrap this up, you all know that I don't do a whole lot of oil because it seeps it to my face and then I be greasy. So I typically only do oils on my ends, but I did try an oil this year that I did apply to the lens of my hair and it did not seep down into my skin. In addition, it smells good. And that is the Sienna Naturals. It is their lock and seal. I've been using this oil. It's it's really, really good. It is very, very light. It seals. It smells beautiful. Like, I really, really like this oil. So that was my favorites of 2021. All of the things that did everything that they said that they were going to do, and I needed absolutely nothing from them. So let me know in the comments down below, have you tried any of these? Are they on your on your favorites list or are they just generally staples? Let me know in the comments down below. All right. Make sure that you punch the notification bell. Yeah, definitely meant press the like button, which is why I gave the thumbs up. Press the like button. <laughs> press the red subscribe button down here. I'm a good time and I've got a lot of stuff planned for 2022. It says 2022, right? Yes, I've got a lot of stuff plans for 2022. Feel free to share this out as somebody else may want some product recommendations. I got a punch. Punch the notification bell so that you can stay of when I post my videos. And again, thanks for tuning in to Jermaine on Natural, and I'll see you in the next one.